Hey folks, welcome to Lake Petenwell in Wisconsin. We're here with Matt Bachanich of Beaver Dam Fishing Tackle. And we're here today, hopefully catch some walleye, maybe some crappie, a mixed bag, right? That's right, we're going for the mixed bag today, Larry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. We got bluebird skies, we got high pressure from last night. As a matter of fact, we even drove through a snowstorm, but we're here today and we're doing some ice fishing. Let's go fish, huh? Let's do it. Got one? Yep, got one, there's a nice fish. Uh, he's coming up easy now. Hey, little walleye. Oh, that was real interesting, folks. What happened there is I'm fishing this uh, cast master about three or four feet off the bottom. These fish are being real finicky. All morning here, if you shake it real hard, the fish just scattered. So what I, what I just figured out is when the fish come right, on up, right up on that spoon, I just keep reeling real slow and don't shake it. I kept bringing it up, bringing it up real fast and about 10 feet off the bottom, I stopped it when I got that fish chasing it and you just hammered that spoon. So maybe we just figured something out here. The interesting thing what I'm doing here is it's a, it's a great idea to tip a spoon with a, little bit of, uh, with a little bit of meat. So what I'm doing is I have a couple spikes on this spoon and then I'm tipping it with a little piece of Uncle Josh pork. And the reason why I do that is when you're fishing a spoon, a lot of times you're gonna kick these wax worms off or if a fish misses it, that little piece of pork stays on there so I can drop right back down on the fish and I know I have a little piece of uh, pork fat or meat on that spoon and I'm gonna get a strike versus having to reel all the way back up, rebate and drop it down and miss my opportunity to catch a fish. So try that technique. Crappy. I just switched and I put a piece of the Uncle Josh pork on there. Nice. <laughs> Boy, they are being finicky, aren't they? Yeah, they are. This guy, though, just hammered it. So. Hey, you know what that means? Why? You're on the board, yeah! man. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, this one feels a little nicer than the ones before. Oh, nice crappie. That's what we're after right there. Nice crappie. What I'd like to show right now is Beaver Dam's rolling out a new line of ice fishing rods, three different series of rods. And this cool new design that we, that we have is, uh, it's called the Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick. And what we have here is a rod with a built-in titanium spring bobber, as you can see. Right now I'm sliding that spring bobber all the way in and it locks in with a magnet so it doesn't fall out. So if I'm fishing bigger baits, I can be real versatile and simply slide that spring bobber back in and fish a bigger bait. If I need to downsize, like what, I, what I'm fishing here right now is this little 124th Castmaster, it allows me to pull out this, spr this spring bobber like that and detect these real light bites. When I'm fishing a real small spoon or a real small jig, it gives me that versatility to slide it in and slide it out depending on what the fish want. And I can, I can pretty much fish any type of spoon, jig, any type of ice bait with one rod. That's a Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick. It's a great new rod. Check it out. Woo, yeah! I've fished with a lot of spring bobbers in my day and this one by Beaver Dam with the titanium tip is just awesome. As fishermen we always want simplicity, right? This is cool. We just take it, close it in. It's as simple as that. Now for storing, it's perfect. You want to fish with it, it just pops up. There's magnets in here that will keep it closed, won't come out at all. You can store it that way. It's completely titanium. And for light bites that we're fishing like this, it's ideal. Oh, there's a nice one. On the new 124th Castmaster, look how thick the back is on that crappie. Oh, 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 we got another one going over here. Larry's got one. Larry's working one. There we go. Nice. Not so much number. Woo. Oh, boy, they are finicky, but when you get them to bite, they are thick. Just take a drag. Yep. Uh, hang on. Don't lose them. Got them. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's a full palm size there, man. That's a thick fish. That boy, is. is that thick. Look at that. That'll be good eats, huh? Oh, yeah. Boy, suck that spoon. All right, you got that. Yeah, you got that. You, got, you switched to a jig on me, tipped with a little yep. piece of pork yep. on there. Got the Uncle Josh pork. That is awesome. Let's get another one. Yep. Hey. I'm going right back down. Mark with another one on the tip stick. Nice work. I just want to take a little second here and talk about this new little 124th Castmaster. Acme Tackle's been around for 
50, 60 years, and, and, this, and they've never had a spoon this small. And what you can see here, folks, is he's got little pieces of uh, pork fat tipped on there. And that's, that's huge, just knowing when you're down there ripping it and a fish misses it, to have that tipped on there. And uh, I'll tell you what, crappies like that are the results. Well, we had an awesome day on Pete and Will out here, and I'm with the, our next generation of fishermen. This is Reed. And Reed, it looks like you had an awesome day of fishing today. He caught all those fish on Castmasters, I hear. He was fishing right next to us. So get out here, bring a kid, and enjoy fishing. I'm Matt Pichonich of Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. <laughs>